But guys, there is a story. There is a story that you guys don't even know about. I touched on it in my last video about the orphans. Yes, the mixed race orphans. No one's talking about these guys. It's almost as if they don't exist. The Ukrainian government has have never acknowledged them, have never given them any type of support. And also the Russians, of course, are not going to uh, recognize these guys. They're even struggling to get any form of recognition from the people who fathered them. Most of them are fathers. Most of those fathers are of West African origin. Okay, The vast majority of which are either Ghanaian or Nigerian. And we have a ton of these children who have been abandoned by their parents. Not just the fathers, but the mothers too. The mothers have abandoned them simply because their their families rejected the children. And in order for them to live a normal life and get themselves a normal man in the Ukraine, there would be no way that they could live a normal life if they had a, a half black, half white child that they had birthed uh, that everybody knows about. Even those men are going to reject them. So what do these women do? The vast majority of these women dump these children into these foster homes. Yes, they dump them into these foster homes and these foster homes are privately run, okay? And they are funded with private money from abroad, okay? Simple charity, okay? If it wasn't for these charities, I don't even know what these kids would do, but, for some reason, they have been there and they've been thriving in the Ukraine. Most of them have gotten academic scholarships abroad in Italy and in the United Kingdom and some of them even in Canada. Well guys, I know about these guys because I sponsored one of them many years ago. It was over 10 years ago that I had heard about these mixed race children. I knew that there were only a handful of orphanages that would accept mixed race babies. You heard me right, guys. There are only a handful of orphanages that will accept mixed race babies in the Ukraine. This is part of the reason why I said, guys, it's not our fight. It doesn't matter what happens to them, okay? It's not your fight because socially over there, because of the society over there, the stigma that those people have towards people that look like us. Whatever happens to them, happens to them. Not our problem, okay? You, you know, really, I, I, I don't even like saying these types of things. And the reality is this. It is a sovereign nation. Russia is encroaching on a sovereign nation. That isn't right, regardless. But I'm not going to go and use my platform to go and shout it from the rooftops. Let somebody else do that. So who are these children? Who's taking care of them? Where have they come from? What's going to happen to them now? Many years ago, I watched a documentary made by a story maker who is a Ukrainian woman who now lives in Canada. She's been actually living in Canada for the last 25 years. Her name is Yulia Ivanova. And she is a person who wanted to highlight the plight of these children in the Ukraine, these forgotten children, all but pariahed in their own country because of the color of their skin. These children have been taken in by a beautiful, amazing woman by the name of Olya Nenya. And this woman has taken these children in when nobody else would take them in. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that there are orphanages that will t turn away a child because of the color of their skin? Yeah, it's all coming to light now, isn't it, guys? This is the reason why... I, I, I hate to say this, but this is the reason why you should really think twice about whether you should care or not about what is happening there. It really is uh, frustrating for me because I don't like war. I'm a pacifist. I don't want war. I don't want people to fight and I don't want people to get into trouble. I don't like violence. I want there to be peace amongst these people. But once again, not my fight, not my problem. I'm not going to be getting myself involved. The only way I'll get myself involved is because of some of those people in the country, the people who are good people, because there are a lot of good people in that country. And a lot of those people, like Olya Nenya, these people have done everything in their power 
to change the face of Ukraine because it is an ugly face. They have an ugly past and it doesn't seem to have changed them. The Ukraine fought with the Soviet Union against Nazism and it seems as though a lot of people, especially a lot of disenfranchised white men in the Ukraine have had to grasp onto something because they don't have anything and the one thing that they can grasp onto is their links with their past. And part of their past was with Nazism.